What's up there 3D artists slash investors. So today I'm going to show you how to make the uh, Robinhood logo here. So this is great practice for uh, making a 3D version of any logo. So check this out. So what you want to do is go to Google Images, perform an image uh, search for uh, whatever you're looking for. So there's a bunch of these right here and just go whichever one you think looks best. Preferably something, uh, something big, not this. All right, because we got this going on over there too. You know, something huge like uh, not that one too much in the background. This one looks good here from GitHub. Looks a little small. Maybe try a bigger one, something like that. This one is cut off right there. This one's oh, not cool, too small. So you want to go with a decent sized one so you can zoom into it in, um, in Blender. All right, cool. Here's a nice one, nice big PNG file. So even if it's not PNG, it's okay if you have um, if you get one with a checkerboard in the back instead. All right, so back over to Blender. Already uh, copied a... Uh, borrowed one from the internet of course so first i'm going to get rid of the cube right here x key delete and let me bring up the screencast keys right here for y'all all right and now i'm going to activate uh, an add-on here that we have in blender it's hidden i'm going to go to edit and then preferences so i can activate this add-on so i can bring in the picture as a plane so instead of me bringing in a plane and then uv wrapping the uh the image on there onto the plane i can just bring in the image like a plane so i'm just going to type in plane right here in the search engine Make sure you select that on there. And there it is, import images as planes. So I'm gonna click there. There it is, it's active. I just gotta close the window. Now I'm gonna go Shift A and go down over here to image and images as planes. And it's gonna open up um, oh search um, file browser window, file explorer window. So I can find my uh, my picture here that I borrowed from the internet downloads. And I'm gonna wait for it. It takes a while mine for to download the uh, the downloads folder here, the downloads drive. All right, here we go. And a few things to download in. Here it is. Import images as planes. And cool, there it is. So I can't see anything on there because I have the uh, solid viewport shader. So let's switch over to render, and then I'll see the image there, just like materials. And HCRI files got to switch over to render. Cool, there it is. So it looks like it's looking at the uh, the right view here, three for right view. Cool. I want it uh, to look up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to RY 90, let's see, minus, enter, there we go, center top view, and there we go. Actually, you kind of want this down over here, so I'm going to rotate another 90 degrees, R90, enter, there we go, center top view, and there we go, it's flat on the, on the top view. That's my preferred method for uh, bringing in images and tracing them. All right, so I'm in the tab key for edit mode, there we go. So as you can see here, I have a plane, there's a vertex right there, G for gram. You can do all that, but I don't want to do that. I want to trace uh, this right here. So I'm going to use the knife tool. I'm going to hit K for knife. There we go. And I want to start with the existing geometry. So I'm going to start at this corner right here with uh, this vertex. So I'm going to click right there. Cool. And I'm going to go up here to this edge right there. Click and then click over and then enter real quick. So I'm going to zoom in. And it looks like it didn't create an edge right there. So what's going on? I just remembered it's because I just have these right here just chilling on their own so I'm going to get rid of those X key delete and I'm going to go with the zoom vertices there you go so when I create the, the cut with the tool let me just zoom in some more so I want to be able to uh, see a better better detail obviously the picture is pixelated all your image files are going to be pixelated so I'm going to cut from right here go to this tip to this end of the stem here go across and then connect down over here to this one so you want to have like a complete loop there okay for knife I'm going to use this one here, oh, oh, click, and I'm going to go up uh, right there, the knife, a little scalpel's getting in the way, can't see that good, but I'm just going to guess it there, I can always adjust it later, and click there, and then click there, and then enter, there we go, so I got that loop there completed, and now I can try to adjust this here, G for grab, and it's like it's adjusting the whole image, I'll just leave it alone, and I'll adjust it later, all right, and now when I go up through here, and I'll complete this loop there, K for knife, click there, and then right about there, click, and then click, click. It looks like it's kind of round there, is it? Yeah, it's kind of round, so I'm going to add one right here, click, and then let's see, click, click, and it starts to kind of get round here as well. Click. Click there, click there, and click there, and maybe around there, click, and then click.
click right there and nope still starting to round off here a little bit of a curve click click enter of course you can make this with the uh, curve but curves a little trickier to use if you're a beginner i recommend using the knife tool on this plane here uh, it doesn't have to be perfect it's not to be accurate it looks like right here i could add one more another vertex in there if you do want to do something like that select the two vertices in between that area then right click it and select subdivide and then later we'll adjust this i'm actually just using this to trace on this picture later i'm going to add, apply a different material on it so if i go to materials here it's the uh, that picture there to be edited on there but i'll create a whole another material for it another shade of green okay for knife I'll click there and then do i want to make that sharper around well i can always taper it later using a bevel click there click there click there and click enter cool complete that loop there and look it went over there as, as, as it should k for knife and i'm going to click there click there this one seems to be a little bit rounder click 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 there and straight down there and click all right this will be a little round here click 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 and uh oh click enter so that's a little bit off but we'll fix it later cool and then it's doing the snap there for me i can try to use this geometry here so let's use it why not okay for knife and i'm gonna click there this looks like a straight line right there click 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 all right and then just click in there so you can see i'm just going around here i don't know why i keep making these click sounds i just like making sound effects anybody ever seen a uh, police academy all right click click and maybe we can just go straight there click and then click click and then boom right over here click enter there we go go right need a select all there's our faces there and now i'm just going to delete the other stuff there on the outside so face selection click on that face there that face delete faces just the faces there there we go and click on this one here delete faces delete or x key faces faces cool and that was the uh, the benefit of uh doing all that there if you like you can leave the uh, that green in there if you want so i'm gonna hit a just like all e to extrude i'm gonna go down make it 3d and now i have an empty face up there so i gotta try to fill those up uh let's see what, what would happen if i had gone up gz let's see that's still an empty face tab key yeah it's like a cookie cutter there right undo undo and i went down so now i gotta fill in these faces here so i'm gonna go to this uh edge selection here hold on the alternate key and click on this edge there we go f for fill and it didn't fill in the face so i'll have enough to freehand um those those the filling there of those faces let me try this one over here f for fill didn't fill that one with either f for fill and let me try one more over here hold on alternate key click there oh right there this is not loop does not loop connect and why is that hold on the shift key click 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 f for fill and it's not filling in that face and we just double check there isn't a face there oh there is a face there just transparent all right so then we'll add a new material plus sign new and i'm gonna call this one green i call it new green enter and then this one i can just hit the minus and it'll go away See, there we go so now i have a, a solid uh, looking object there and base color and try to replicate the green there all right so i'm going to pose it in a bit uh, but before i do that i want to tell you guys about robin hood so robin hood is a free app it's for investing so most popular uh, platform for millennial investors but obviously you don't have to be a millennial to invest uh, right now as of the recording of this which is december 30th the stock market is going crazy so 2020 has been bad for some but in the stock market it's been great it's been blowing up uh, just take a look at these numbers here from the nasdaq.com and uh, tech companies that's what you want to invest in so here's tesla currently at 694.78 apple 133 a share amazon three thousand two hundred eighty five dollars and eighty five cents 
as of the recording of this video. And um, if you go here to Amazon, it looks like it's down right now. It's a good time to buy. It, um, it went down by 1.09%, but overall it's been increasing. So that's just one day there, five days. There you go, in five days it's gone up. And let's go the whole year right here. And there it is. So here is COVID. Quarantine starts, quarantine shutdowns, and then boom, shoots right up. All the tech stocks are just like that. They go down during COVID and then boom, they shot up and they were higher than ever before. Five year uh, graph here, there it is. There's uh, COVID right here, quarantine starts, and boom, higher than ever before. That's just Amazon there. Same thing for Apple, same thing for Tesla. Uh, Baidu, that's a company that owns TikTok. You can buy TikTok stock, uh, Microsoft as well. Let's check out Microsoft right here, one year. And there it is, COVID, and then boom, higher than before. Five year graph, loading, loading, loading. <clears throat> I hope it's gonna load, but anyways, you guys see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's almost like playing a game using Robinhood. And if uh, you can also sign up for a newsletter where they give you a uh, little tips, oh, not tips, actually they let you know what's going on in the, uh, in the investment in the, in the business world. And they also have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to and also get Robin Hood Snacks and just keep you updated on what's going on in corporate America. Uh, if, uh, if you win it for the long run, if you like gambling, want to be a sports gambler, if you're a sports gambler, then trading is definitely right up your alley. I would not recommend sports gambling, uh, sports betting or any form of gambling, but uh, Robin Hood, I would recommend for long-term investment. But like I said, um, any, it's open to the public, anybody in the United States, it does take uh, about uh, two or three days for you to get approved to start trading. The sooner the better. If you use my link in the description below, I uh, do get a share or three, depending on what offer they have, and you will, you will also get a share as well. So check out Robinhood. I highly recommend the free app in the App Store or the Play Store. Get it while it's hot. All right, so back over to Blender. So here I have my Robinhood uh, leaf. If I want to make it metallic, I can do that as well. I can go over here to metallic material, make it a little more metallic like. Cool. Looks like nice and expensive, nice and reflective. And let's see what else I can do with it. I remember uh, some of these were kind of round at the edges. So I can, if I want to bevel that, I can do that as well. Tab key. And I can select uh, these edges here and try to round them off. Edge selection there. And for top view. And then control B. Pull it a bit. And then spin the wheel. And I'll get a rounder edge as you can see there. So that might look a little neater. Depends on what look you're going for. So I'll just leave that one there. And then anybody else who wants to uh, smooth out the other ones, they can as well. And I do notice some YouTubers also like to uh, bevel these right here. Some some designers like to bevel the, uh, the edge there at the top. Control B, pull the mouse a bit, just so the edges don't look so sharp. There we go, tab key. And it does kind of help, uh, just like an actual table, the edges are not that, uh, that sharp on any any table out there. Undo, undo, and try it again. Control B, pull the mouse away. Let's see how that looks there. Tab key. And looks neater. And I'm just going to put on that side there. That's going to be visible. The other side I'll leave alone. And it does make the edges uh, noticeable a lot better. Now I want to give it a, a stage. Let's see. I'm going to go over here to Google Images. See how the background usually looks. Looks like it's a white background or a dark green background. And I'm going to go with the white one. Ooh, maybe even black. But I want to cast a shadow there. So I'm going to go with the, uh, with the white color. If you want to be specific about the color, you can try this, especially if you're making a logo. You can perform a Google search for the, uh, the color. Uh, Ramahu logo color HEX code. And you get the exact color. There it is. Code is the color. is a shade of green. All right, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to copy that. Go back over to Blender. And then right here in base color, I'm going to click in there again. And this time, instead of using the color wheel, I'm going to click inside of hex. And I'm just going to paste that color in there. That'll be the exact Robin Hood green color. There we go. And oh, I like the brighter green better. Is that really Robin Hood's green? I think I'm being misled here. Maybe it's just the light. So it's probably the light. I'll make the light brighter later. All right, so let's bring in a plane here. Shift A, mesh, or a grid. I'm going to bring in a grid. There we go. There's a grid right there. One for front view. And it's on top of my uh, my picture here, my logo. So G, Z, bring it up. They have it float a little bit above it. There you go. Select the plane. And tab key. And I'm just going to scale it up a lot. Let's see. Let's try 20. How big is that? Humongous. Cool. And I'm subdivided a few times. Let me just go down here and change this number to 100. And hopefully my computer does not crash. If your computer starts to slow down, 
then try out a lower number. My computer's already uh, acting up there. Maybe I should have tried 50 first before jumping over to 100. So let's wait and see what happens. So here is the result of my subdivisions. It's glowing. Look at that. Uh, that's way too much. So I'm going to undo Control Z and um, undo those subdivisions there. It's even giving me trouble to undo that. What's going on? All right, so I was able to undo the subdivision, so I'm going to right-click it again and try this one more time without breaking the computer. All right, so let's try 20 here. Enter. And that's not too bad. Let's just try 30, and I think I'll be all right. Cool. All right, and the reason I'm trying to go with these subdivisions is because I'm going to create a backdrop here, an infinity background with, uh, with what I got going on. So I'm going to go over here to Edge Selection and select this edge right here in the back. I'm going to hold on the alternate key. And left click on those outer edges there, or the very most outer edge, which is definitely what you want. And then I'm going to activate the proportional editing tool right there. And I'm going to bring this up GZ. And we're going up. And I'm going to spin this wheel here to make it nice and round. Cool. All right, there we go. There we go. Bring it up some more. And enter there. One for front view. Cool. So I got infinity background, tab key. And let's give this color new. And we'll just make the background white. So base color here. Hex, the hex code color for white is just a bunch of Fs. Enter. There we go. Also, what you could have done is just right here in the color wheel, just bring the value all the way up. All right, this light is not, not popping, but let me pose my uh, my uh, my feather here for Robin Hood. So one for front view. I'm going to stand this up. RX90. Enter. GZ. Let's bring it up in there. All right, just floating above it. I want to cast a shadow that way, so I'm going to play around with my lights here. There's my light. Let's try a spotlight and see how that works. All right, cool. Send for top view and let's put the spotlight over here. G for grab, R for rotate. There we go. And let me choose a camera view. And where do I want the camera? So maybe I want the camera around here. Control, control alternate zero. That'll become my new camera view. Cool. All right, if you really, uh, if you really want to be technical with posing your camera, you want to have a, a good angle there, you can select your camera. Select camera data over here in the properties panel. And then open camera here. No, not that one. Viewport display, there we go. And then open composition guides, and you can use the rule of thirds. See, there we go. You can use the, uh, the golden ratio triangles, all that stuff. And so now I can use my camera here to pose it just right. G for grab. You zoom in a bit. G, Z. We're going, oh, Z again. And we're going in. And right about, there looks good. G for grab. And right there was cool all right and then i want to do some some more with the light i'm not liking this light in here three for right view and let's try this g for grab gz bring it straight down and then r for rotate doing this from right view and actually i wanted to cast a shadow long shadow so let's see if that work in there cool it's casting a long shadow can't see the shadow very well there is the uh the edge there or the infinity background so i can select my plane here and push it further to the back so i'm going to g and then Y, and then pull it away. Oh, too far, too far. And right there is looking good. All right. And let's change up the light light, and let's make it brighter. Let's try. I just want to light that up over there, so maybe not make it brighter. I'll just make a duplicate of this light. Send for top view, and then Shift-D, put another light over here. R for rotate. See over camera view, see how we're looking there. And I got rid of that shadow. If I want to keep my shadows, I can uh, uh, deactivate shadow there so I, it doesn't cast a shadow. So it doesn't create shadows. This is from the duplicate. All right. Looking hot. Looking hot. A little too bright. So another problem I have is that I can't see where my, uh, where my logo is. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of the camera. Do a camera view. That's cool. And then I can have another light in the back over there. Maybe I'll put a green light back there. All right. So I'm going to duplicate this one. Shift D. And just have a bat like uh, a green light shoot back there and maybe i can make it the same green as uh as this click in there and hex copy this i think i already copied it earlier and then select this light there light data oops there we go light data go in here color and hex paste it in there there we go see for camera view and cool that's looking cool right there so r for rotate uh, and I don't want that one to make a shadow either. But we got some green back there. Maybe we'll, we'll point the green at the uh, our subject there. See over camera view. 
And all right, maybe I have it come back from come in from the back. Let's see. Make a, um, a three point lighting uh, technique here and make this one super bright. So let's try 5000. There we go. And still want someone to shoot at the shoot in that direction. So shift D R and we'll point one at the back over there. Secret camera view. And it's too dark over there, uh, that backdrop. And it looks like I have to make it stronger. It's going to make it more narrow. And I need to try to get the edge in the back. Uh, let me try increasing the radius there. And let's increase this again. Let's try 15,000. 15,000. There we go. Zero for camera view. And oh, where's my shadow? Where's my shadow? RZ. Let's see. There we go. I'm not liking that streak right there. So I'm going to play around with the light so I can get rid of that right there. Shift D. We'll add another one in there. And it doesn't look bad. All right. So let's see what this looks like. F12 to render and see what we got so far. All right. So there we go. We got the logo. I don't like these uh, edges here. So let's do something about that. All right. So very simple trick to get rid of that. Select, select it, right click it, select shade to move. Smooth it out and then F12 and you won't see those, uh, those that pixelation there on those edges. So let's check this out. And there it is. See, nice smooth edges. Uh, and obviously that one's not as smooth as the other ones. If you'd like, you can add more uh, vertices in there, play around with it. You would do that before you beveled out those edges there. Uh, this is one version of a background. Now what we can do, we just have a black background as well. So let's check that out. And then to make the background back uh, black, I'm just going to select the, the backdrop there, and the base color, make it from white just all the way down to black over there. And there we go. Cool. We got, still got some white in there. And of course, we can also, always play around with the light so we can get rid of some of that there or um, only have a light there for, uh, for the feather there. F12. And then we got our uh, nice Robin Hood logo there just from tracing. So there it is. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, you can also help uh, support the channel by subscribing, like I just mentioned, and by clicking on the link at the bottom if you want to join Robinhood, and I will get a share or three if there's a promo, and you will also get a share as well, free share of uh, stock. Thank you, and have an awesome day. Bye.